So the Aspire program is a leadership program for young Muslim women and it's run by the Sir Zelman Cowan Centre and it's been funded by the Lord Mayor's Charitable Fund. So this program is targeting young Muslim women across Victoria who demonstrate a capacity and a desire to want to lead effectively both within their internal communities but also within broader society. I think the uh, devolution model that the Aspire program presents is actually walking the talk of what a leadership program does. The associate program managers of the Aspire program are past graduates who are now being skilled to the next level to actually run the program. Yeah, day one, we had our orientation day. First time we worked together, like probably yeah. literally, yeah. like yeah. in action, in action. All of the APMs, we had an idea of what our role is going to be in the Aspire program, but um, not entirely sure where we each going to fit and how each of our strength or skills will play a part in it. We realised that dividing our tasks into three categories would be a lot more efficient. So myself and Mariam manage the media and advocacy portfolio. So you know, photography, videography, the normal stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can do that. Oh, what is involved? And then we've got um, event management, which. Um, Tiba and Aya had a handle on, and then the last category was evaluation, um, which Natura and uh, Maria were a part of. Knowing how to facilitate a workshop that's really engaging and inclusive, um, and at the same time allows for people to be all safe um, to share their thoughts and share their opinions. I think that's one thing that we've all of the APMs have uh, developed and grown on. I think one of the biggest personal challenges for me was remembering that I'm not a participant anymore um, and during discussions rather than actively participating I have to facilitate and shape and mold the discussion without you know impeding on the integrity of the participants. Look no matter how much training we get with facilitating every time with a different group it's going to you're going to need different skills. There was a lot of engagement with external uh, stakeholders including um, people who are going to teach, teach the participants about governance, about skill sets, whether it was in you know, program design, um, and, and just the kind of knowledge that you need to have a very holistic approach to leadership. So one of the bigger events that we've got on this year was the Iftar dinner. For me, it was about developing the soft skills. Cool. What needs to be done? We need a centerpiece. A coat centerpiece. rack? Yeah. Flowers. 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 Just picking up some stuff like the professional way to um, communicate with um, an external organisation or um, yeah just the skills that I feel like I can't really learn in school. You're very lucky to be able to be sitting in a room with highly competent and accomplished CEOs um, in a room with women who themselves are on a fast tracking to be highly accomplished themselves. So it was kind of like watching the future evolve. That was pretty cool. Towards the end at graduation, we had a focus group with the participants. All of the feedback that we received, um, personally, I anticipated it. We're a previous participant of the program, so we know how it feels when you're feeling overwhelmed with the project and you don't know what to do. Um, and I think it's, you know, as an APM, your role is to troubleshoot issues before they bring it up themselves. I knew that they had stressed a lot about their governance project and so for them being able to present their work at the end of the year at the graduation, yeah, we're very proud. We're very proud of the girls. What we've learnt about leadership, it's not about my own growth and development as a leader, but also how do we empower and support our team so they can uh, grow as well. I think there's merit in having leadership programs that are curated by communities for communities. So whether you have young Muslim women, whether you have young African women, whether you have young um, you know, Sudanese women, for example, whatever that particular cohort and group is, providing them with the, with the infrastructure to lead the resources, the networks, the, I guess the manual or the almanac of how it's done, both in theory but in practice, I think ensures that all those minority communities are actually going to have the best possible um, opportunity.